We've already mentioned Mountain Brewers Beer Fest this Saturday, June 1st, noon to 5, Sandy Downs. Um, it's kind of fun to show up around three or four to those things. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is every, that? Because everybody's drunk. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And you can, you know, uh, I, th- I think, do they allow outside water? I think they do. I mean, I would hope so. I've seen people, really smart people, like they'll make a pretzel necklace. Oh. Or 10. And sell those. Oh, that's smart. Even better, it should be like Mardi Gras, <laughs> you know, <laughs> where you just toss them. <laughs> now, this was this was 10 years ago, but I did see some of that going on, too. Oh, really? When the band hits the stage. <laughs> okay. A couple shirts came flying up. Good for them. That, I mean, honestly, the confidence is amazing. Yeah, yes. Good for them. <laughs> I think beer does give you confidence. It does. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Even maybe some people who shouldn't have that much, but you know what? Let's just let them have that for the day. <laughs> uh, wasn't it Ben Franklin who said, um, beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy or something? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And honestly, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's this Saturday. Lincoln Post for tickets. <laughs> also kind of a cool thing next weekend, downtown after dark. The Downtown Development Corporation, um, this is happening June 7th, mm-hmm. 8 to midnight. Oh, wow. So, so, yeah, if you ever wanted to, you know, sneak around downtown at night, they're doing some kind of – meet them at Park and A Street, uh-huh. I'm assuming right at 8 p.m., for a four-hour late-night shopping and dining experience downtown. Businesses will stay open late. Be one wow. of the first 100 people to get your free swag bag stuffed with fun stuff. That sounds cool. Snake River Animal Shelter offering discounted microchipping at Splash, uh, your favorite do, pet store. I do love Splash, and I also love Snake River Animal Shelter. That's until and to 10. to be fair, Idaho Falls Animal Shelter, too. Yeah. I just love a critter. <laughs> Museum of Idaho offering basement tours. Ooh. What do they got? <gasps> I want to see that. In the basement. Mike, can we go to this? This sounds so fun. Skeletons? Ooh, I hope so. I mean, probably. At least like a dinosaur skeleton or something. Yeah, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah, right? (laughs) They've got Sue down there. (laughs) So that's Saturday, June 8th. (laughs) Then looking ahead to next month, Ammon Days, August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. They're going to have 16 hot air balloons at McCowan Park. Oh, wow. In the North Field, I think they're going to be set up. Liftoffs happen all three days at 7.30 a.m. I really want to see that. I, I love the idea of a hot air balloon. Yeah. That just sounds really cool. Might have to get some footy, especially of this. The Glow event is happening that Friday uh-huh. at 8.30 p.m. So they wait till dusk-ish. Uh-huh. And then they let, you know, how would they perform a burn where they you see the operator pull down and it right. releases a flame up into the balloon. Uh-huh. They're all on the ground, I think, but you get to see them kind of light up. That sounds really cool. You know? I love that. That sounds magical. The whole balloon, like a light bulb. Uh-huh. Kind of lights up. That's awesome. And they're offering free shuttle service to from Hillcrest. If parking at McCowan Park is too much, and it might be. It might be. Because Ammon Days is pretty popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll have a free shuttle running that night, Friday night, for the Glow event from, what, 7 to 10? And then every 20 minutes. Uh, oh, that's every 20 minutes. Then Saturday the 3rd. From 7 to 5 p.m. about every 10 minutes. Man, that's cool. Did that make sense what I said? Yeah. I think Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Also coming up in August, the Idaho Falls Rotary Club, 33rd Annual Great Snake River Greenbelt Duck Race. Got to go for the duck race. They announced the top prizes. Mm -hmm. Grand prize, 2024 Kia Sportage from Stones. Wow. First prize, 2024 Can-Am Outlander XT850 Platinum Silver Four-Wheeler. Oh, okay. (laughs) From ICCU. You know, my mom won't let me drive four-wheelers anymore. No? Not after I landed my brother in the hospital for a month. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, so my brother and I were driving on one. I was driving it. He told me to slow down. I, being the 13-year-old little shit that I was, sped up. We hit a rut just right. He went bouncing off the back. Well, he decided to bail it because we were bouncing off into a valley. And so he tried to jump off but hit a tree right across his gut, lacerated his, lacerated his liver, and killed a foot of in, his intestine. Yikes. Yeah, it was really you bad. got to be careful on those things. That's why mm-hmm. I think at the end of a lot of four-wheeler or side-by-side um, ads, you'll hear, Honda recommends all ATV riders take a training course. Right. Or something like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, the funny Thanks. thing with that whole accident, though? All that happened to me was that I broke my toe. 
That's it. Oh, you poor dear. <laughs> How is it? Is it okay? <laughs> you know, actually, it does still hurt if I wear high enough heels for long enough. Yeah. It d- can you tell that it's going to be a rainy day? You can feel it in your joints? Uh Sometimes a little, like, honestly, if that foot does get cold, I can feel it. Sometimes people with, like, old war injuries will say, it's going to rain today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the barometric pressure, apparently. Yeah, Yeah, fucks with it. I can feel it in my bones. (laughs) Right. And then the third prize, a Tikka T3X Super Varmint 300 Wind Mag with Zeiss Conquest V4 416 by 44 scope. Wow, that was a lot of words I didn't understand. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. (laughs) Gun enthusiasts probably do. Oh, that's hot <sighs> shit, man. Uh, and a uh, Warren Mountain Tech 30 millimeter rings from the gun shop. Nice. Okay. <laughs> but this all goes to the Idaho Falls Rotary Club. Mm-hmm. And they do, like, I was looking at old pictures of the Civic Auditorium, for example. And they, there's the rotary symbol on it. Uh-huh. Like, they, they do all sorts of projects. You mm-hmm. owe a lot of the new Greenbelt, the new river walk between Broadway right. and Pancarry Bridges. Mm-hmm. That beautification from the, to the Rotary Club. Mm-hmm. So they do a bunch of great stuff. It's always, you know, get yeah. a quack pack for, I don't know, 25 bucks. Anyway, the They're link is bad. in post. Yeah. Yeah. 25,000 ducks, I think. Damn. That's a lot of ducks. I wonder if it's really hard to clean up afterward. I don't think so. I think they just have a big net after Damn. the falls that catches them all or something. I mean, that would make sense. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Nothing like, I guess there was a rubber duck disaster have you heard about this no yeah like i don't know a cargo ship crashed 30 years ago Mm -hmm. carrying a bunch of crates of rubber ducks oh funny and they've actually used them to sort of study the jet streams their gulf streams or whatever yeah (laughs) Yeah. isn't that crazy (laughs) with the, the places where they end up yeah you know what there's actually a similar one of legos Oh, that happened really? where a big uh, cargo ship carrying tons of Legos, uh, you know, ended up losing its cargo. And apparently some of the Legos on there are extre- extremely rare because they only existed for that drop and never made it. Oh, wow. So now if you find those pieces, they're like insanely valuable because no, you can't get your hands on them. And that's why we're all 0.7% microplastics, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, bummer. Yeah. <laughs>